Okay, make sure I didn't forget my wallet. I did that uh, when Rev and I, we went to uh, Target. Right. And we got there, it was raining. And, you're and like, we're walking up to Target. And I'm like, wait a second, I, I forgot, forgot my, my wallet. wallet. And we're like, all right, well, let's go back. Went back, grabbed your wallet, went back again. Yep. Garbage trucks. Garbage. Garbage trucks. Yes, garbage trucks. Garbage trucks. Yes, garbage trucks. Yes. I've yet to do my intro for this. It's just been a minute and a half of us talking. I know. This time, I'm going to pass it. Oh, Mr. Oh, it's double yellow. Well, there's also a curve. So. Uh, oh, it's double yellow. You can't pass. It's double yellow. Well, there's also a curve, and I didn't want to die. What's going on, guys? So, I am in the PT Loser with Nick. I don't know if you can see him. PT Loser? Yes, PT Loser. It's what I call PT Cruisers. Sure. Plus, you drive it, so it, it kind of works. Ha, 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 ha. But um, I am going to Lowe's because, give me the bag. I have to get a new bolt because uh, my valve cover gasket was leaking. I was like, oh, maybe I just didn't tighten them enough. And I took a 3 8 with the 10 millimeter, tightened it and snap, uh, the bolt broke. Like the head of the bolt broke off, which is not good. So I have to uh, get one of them. Then go to Advance Auto and get a valve cover gasket because I have to take the valve cover off. Might as well replace the gasket while I am at it. Hold that please. So let's get to it. All right, so I am leaving Goodwill. Got some pretty cool stuff. I got Willow. A VHS. I'm sure I'm just gonna hand them to you. We got uh, a Chris Rock stand up, which is pretty dope. I got UFOs are real. Laughing at me. Um, got Lord of the Flies. What? Yeah, Lord of the Flies. And then, got Hellraiser, a VHS, original, nice. which is dope. Okay. I got um, oh Return to Castle Wolfenstein for PC. Got Heavy Rain on PS3. Cool. Which I already had. Okay, well, guess what? Stuntman on PS2. Need for Speed Carbon, right? Yeah, Carbon on PS2. And last but not least, I got something for Nick because he had to sit in the car for so long. Oh. A Slipknot DVD. Oh, oh, that's cool. So, it's pretty dope. What is it? It's a live DVD. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it has People Equal Shit, Liberate, Left Behind, uh, Ior, Ior. A disaster piece, a purity, gently, eyeless, my plague, new abortion, uh, the heretic anthem. anthem. Yes, uh, spit it out, wait and bleed, sick, uh, surfacing. Then it has videos for uh, my plague left behind, wait and bleed, bleed, wait and bleed animated, and spit it out. Oh, that's cool. So there you go. That's that's your payment. All right, guys, got what I came here for. So hopefully these work. I only need one. It's just the hardest part is going to be taking out the one that's broken. So let's get some lunch. I'm hungry. Sure. What do you want for lunch? I don't know what you want. I don't know. What do you want? I don't know what do you want. I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Nick. I don't know. I don't know. God, there's many options. There's Greek City, there's Denny's. I mean, the three places we talked about earlier? Yeah. See, I'm not really feeling that, though. You're not feeling Greek City? No, not really. Really? Yes, really. That's I have No, it's not. I have to be in the mood to have Greek food, my dude. Clever. I'm not 
being clever and being honest. Clever. How how am I being clever? Clever, clever, shrew. The power of Chrysler compels you. Funny. That was funny. Yeah. And you know it. Sure. Oh, we could go to this thrift store. No. Why not? No. I said why not? Because I don't want to. Why not? Because I don't want to. Why not? Because I said. Why? Shut up. All right, so I am home. I'll show you guys what I gotta do. So I have to replace the gasket right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's leaking oil pretty bad. Um, this is the one that broke. This is the one I took to Lowe's with me. So basically all you need is a 10 millimeter uh, to take everything off. It's super simple, like super, super simple. Uh, you just take off this cover. Um, you undo, there's a couple of bolts. There's five up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like 10 bolts all together, if that. Well, 12 uh, all together. So it's very simple. Pull out your spark plugs. Well, your spark plug uh, wires. And that's really about it. So I'm gonna get to this, get to this because it's gonna rain. Which is, like I said in my last video, that is my luck. It raining every time I go to do stuff. All right, so I am all done. Uh, I'm just waiting for uh, this part because I painted it. I'm just waiting for that to dry. Then I could put that on, but everything went good. Uh, got the little bolt out, which is I left up here. Let me grab that. There's just this small little piece right here. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, yeah, it just snapped off right there, right at the end. Thankfully, I was able to get it out. It wasn't hard. I just took some pliers, unscrewed it. So that was awesome. But uh, the lesson to learn from that is use quarter inch stuff. Don't use three eighths on valve cover gasket. Well, valve cover bolts rather. All right, so it is done. The sun is behind me. So sorry about that. But here it is all nice and shiny now. Looks great. And uh, I don't know if I said this before, but I used a little red RTV uh, just along here because that's where it was leaking really, really bad. And then anywhere there was a bend, like a curve, I used it. So yeah, then I also, I put some zip ties around uh, the radiator support because those bushings are kind of jacked up. So by kind of, I mean, they're pretty much done. So I just put some zip ties there just to uh, help hold it in place this way it wasn't moving around like crazy but uh yeah that's that's about it um here is uh the part number i think this is it right there i'll, I'll also put it on the screen but that's part number i want to say these are either silicone or polyurethane pretty sure it's silicone gasket so they're definitely good as you can see Came with three of these so one goes here one goes in the back one goes over by the timing belt you're not gonna be able to see it but it goes over in this section yeah it's uh it's done so very very happy about that i even somewhat fixed my exhaust uh even fit uh, made the fitment better too so as you can see it fits nice it makes a little bit of noise now but not as much what I did was, took a zip tie, uh, there's a flange, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but, uh, yeah, right here, just put a little yellow zip tie there, basically just to uh, push that end up more, this way, because I figured out it was hitting my sway bar, so, um, yeah, uh, put a zip tie there, just to help bring uh, the back end down, because this end is being forced up. So it's, it still hits it slightly, but not as much. Then, um, I think that's it. I think that's all I have left to do. Gotta, gotta check. Actually, I lied. I have some uh, interior screws. There's a piece over here that is sticking up. Uh, the glue or whatever. Right here. So I kind of want to just drill that in just like that so hopefully that mic's not getting in the way so I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm gonna call it done there you go 
that's uh, good enough for me. So I'm gonna end it here. I just wanna thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna help support me on Patreon, you can link down below if you as awesome as Dana Smith. She helps support my channel. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys next time. Peace.